We've made lots of uh, modifications in the way we perform exercise tests um, when we deal with people with heart diseases. Clearly, one thing that we're trying to do with an exercise test is push the individual to their limit to see if we can bring on rhythm disturbances during the exercise test. Now, during this time, people with a long QT interval may get even more lengthening of their QT interval, which is not what should happen, it should shorten. And we might even unmask people with Brugada syndrome immediately after they've stopped exercising. So we look specifically for exercise, for exercise related rhythm disturbances for paradoxical prolongation of the QT interval or for the Brugada phenotype early in recovery.